tomorrow, Jay Collins. The speaker contemplates his declining years and wishes for little more than a comfortable place to look forward to tomorrow. When the time comes to leave the worn out body, it will be exchanged for an everlasting one tomorrow. Tomorrow. In the downhill of life, when I find I'm declining, may my lot no less fortunate be, than a snug elbow chair can afford for reclining, and a cot that o'erlooks the wide sea. With an ambling pad pony to pace o'er the lawn, while I carol away idle sorrow, and blithe as the lark that each day hails the dawn, look forward with hope for tomorrow. With a porch at my door, both for shelter and shade too, as the sunshine or rain may prevail, and a small spot of ground for the use of the spade too. With a barn for the use of the flail, a cow for my dairy, a dog for my game, and a purse when a friend wants to borrow. I'll envy no nabob his riches or fame, nor what honours await him tomorrow. From the bleak northern blast may my cot be completely secured by a neighbouring hill, and at night may repose till upon me more sweetly by the sound of a murmuring rill. And while peace and plenty I find at my board, with a heart free from sickness and sorrow, with my friends may I share what today may afford, and let them spread the table tomorrow. And when I at last must throw off this frail covering, which I've worn for three score years and ten, on the brink of the grave I'll not seek to keep hovering, nor my thread wish to spin o'er again. But my face in the glass I'll serenely survey, and with smiles count each wrinkle and furrow as this old worn-out stuff which is threadbare today may become everlasting tomorrow.